Welcome back to our 30th video on HTML and CSS. And you guys are all legends for making it this far. In this video, we are going to create the web, the rest of our web pages. So we need to create our about us as well as our contact page. So what we can do is we already have two web pages. We have our index page, which is our home page, and then we just created our services page in the last video. So what we're going to do is we can take either one of these pages and use them to be the template for our about us or contact page. So let's go ahead and let's bring this down a little bit. I'll just go ahead and open up. It could be either one. It could be our services.html page or index.html page. And I'll just open up our services page. And I'm going to right click. Uh oh. Brain fart. Okay, let's open this up with our text editor. Stick with TextMate. And again, I'm going to copy all this information. Everything in here Command A if you're on a Mac, Control A if you're on a PC, and it's going to highlight everything. And then uh, Command C if you're on a Mac, or Control C if you're on a PC. We copied all this content in here. And we'll go ahead and go to New. And let's go ahead and paste it in here. Okay, perfect. And this is not our services page. What is one of our other pages? We called it, we titled it About Us. So let's go to our title up here, about us. And again, we're in our header. This is where all our information is that we want our browser to recognize. So I'll go ahead and save it. Not yet. Okay, I'll save it now. Save it as. And what did we what did we call it in our link? I think it was just about.html. So about.html right here in our root folder. Save it. Go back to our root folder. There it is about.html. So if we click on about down here now, go back to our browser, there it is. Since we stole all that stuff from the services, what we need to do is we need to go into our content div that we created and get rid of this stuff. So I'll, I'll just take our unordered list out and we'll go ahead and title our h1 about us. And we can type anything we want. We could type, we were started in 19, actually we didn't start in 19, we started in 2011. That's when I first started learning code and web design. Or we could just jump to html.ipsum. I'm going to open up another tab. Remember that website we saw in a couple videos ago? HTML ipsum. And I'll go ahead and take a different, what we, we took medium paragraph before. We'll go ahead and take unordered list, long items. And we'll take the whole thing. Copy that. I'm just going to erase this. And I'm going to paste this, Command V or Control V if you're on a PC. Don't worry about the spell check. It's checking for English, and obviously this isn't English. I think it's Latin. We'll go ahead and save it. Open it up in our browser for our About Us page. Reload it. About Us. Morbi and Sam Quis, whatever. Unless you've got straight A's in linguistics class, you'd probably be able to understand this, but I cannot. Again, we already know how to add images or pictures, so we'll just stick with that for our About Us page. Now we'll go ahead and create our contact page because there's nothing there. So let's go back to or about HTML, and we'll go Command A to steal everything, and Command C to copy it, and let's go open up another brand new file, and let's go ahead and paste that in there, and let's go, we'll title this Contact, and no, let's not save it yet. Actually, we can save it now. We'll save it just as uh, contact.html into our root folder. Contact.html. Okay, and what do we, uh, so we'll take this out again. We'll take out our unordered list. And we'll just give us some contact information. So like, uh, we'll give it an H3. Contact, no, we'll give the H1. Contact us. Let's get business coming in. So for H3, we'll type in, I don't know, get a hold of us. Close that H3 out. That's not an H3. That's an H3. And we'll just give it some random information. We'll be like, here's our address. 
We'll give it a P.O. box or mailing address. How's that? And we'll do. Uh, we'll give it a break right there, so it's on the next line down. And we'll do my old address from Village Park growing up, which was 449 North Willow Spring Drive. Give it another break. Encinitas, California, 92024. Give it another break. And we'll do like a uh, phone number in H3. And we'll do a break too. Not a bar. We're not going to the bar. And our, my old phone number. I'm going to actually put my old phone number in here. I remember this from my home line growing up. So if this is somebody's phone number nowadays, uh, they might be getting a lot of random phone calls from people around the world. So it, it was 760-943-8307. So I'm going to save it. Go back to our browser. Now all of our pages work. Let's go to our homepage, villagepark.com. We got all this. Here's our services. Build websites. Teach people to become legends. We know how to wash dishes. About us. That's where we tell people where what our company is all about and how long we've been around. And then contact. Get a hold of us. Mailing. Let me go ahead and add another uh, break underneath. Get a hold of us in mailing. So let's go to contact. And... I'll do another one right here. Nope, not bar. No, where's mailing? Now I'm all over the map. I'm going to take this bar out right here, save it, and add a break tag right here. <laughs> okay, here's our website. And I know it's not the best website, but again, we've learned so much at this point. And in the next video, we're finally going to publish this thing to the web because nobody can look at it right now unless you're on our computer and I hopefully hopefully you guys are the only ones that go on your computer so uh, yeah in the next video we're gonna I know you guys have all been waiting to know how we're gonna publish this and post it to the web so stay tuned and subscribe to my videos